remembrances. Remembrances, reaching back, spiritually embracing absent fa family and loved ones. We will mourn our loss of them forever. But on this day, we pay homage and honor their memory. We thank God for them and all they gave us. And as graciously as we know how, thank them for their service. We recall daughters, mothers, foremothers, and our sons, brothers, and fathers, warriors, ancestors, all, who stood tall till time, as measured by eternity's hand, released them from their labor. Remembrances, memories handed down one to another in ways that anchor and reassure us, keeping souls safe through prayer and faith. Those who came before paved the way, opened a door to which only they held the key. In the meanwhile, they have left us remembrances. May we ever be comforted by this gift from God, this feeling, this yearning deep inside, remembering absent yet forever present, caring hearts and hands, warm smiles, strong backs, gentle hugs, given then to build fortresses within us, shields of love that comfort and cradle us. They soften tomorrow's blows, enrich our spirits with lullabies that echo in our minds and soothe our souls in ways that only love can comprehend. Remembrances, special and treasured memories of different times and places, but mainly of family and friends, precious and delicate. Somehow, despite losses, we grow always, for the legacy must continue. We lift little ones to places of understanding through memory, through stories and family photographs, keeping alive their connection with folk gone long before their time. Some gone so long, even elders struggle to recall their face, but their place in the family will always stay strong, just like the love and the strength they shared and dared to give. At times, it was all they had. Now, we remember with love that they gave their best and their best makes our tomorrows better. Remembrances through smiles and tears, we thank God that despite our pain and sadness, our souls are made glad when we remember. Hmm. They give medals for things that bring nightmares, amputate hope along with limbs, bring our men and women back wounded in ways no doctor was ever taught to heal, offering only textbook tomorrows through endless sessions that don't begin to compensate for taking lives, embracing fear disguised as hate long enough to make it back safe. I cannot sanitize this poem for you. Too many hearts have turned hollow. Too many minds still search through landmines or safe landing places. Too much blood is encrusted on first kills. Memories that never will fade away, no matter what psychiatrist or government officials say. I cannot sanitize this poem for you. Despite prayers for soldiers and their victims, despite wives of children who hold on to memories more whole than their loved ones will ever be again. Despite the loudest scream from sweat drenched dreams or strongest protest against annihilation of human flesh by so-called survivors 
who can never feel pride when evening skies light in glorious delight each 4th of July, painfully resurrecting each punctuated sound of death, despite the desperate fight to seek silence, it forever replays. They continue to repay the song and cost of bombs bursting in air each day of their lives. I cannot sanitize this poem for you. My heart hurts beyond healing for the pain and trauma endured by warriors for whom the war will never end. My mind searches for ways to say, welcome back, please come back. Let me help you come back to those we see on the streets amidst rubble and debris, the only place they now feel safe to call home. I cannot sanitize this poem for you, but I can pray with you. I can refuse to contribute to the ever increasing blind eyes and cold hearts that comfortably create so-called safety at the expense of obedient warriors. I cannot, I can reach out, connect, show how I care beyond polite platitudes, insist that dignity, respect for life and love are shown in my home and in my community. Teach compassion to my children. Be the lit ember of humanity that ignites fires, refuse to allow darkness to reign in my domain. I cannot sanitize this poem for you but I can thank our veterans for their service and their sacrifice. I can lift prayers and praises to God who makes all things possible. I can give thanks that he does all things and does them well. I cannot sanitize this poem for you, only God can. <laughs>